Tuesday, Teenager Tuesday. I'm so excited about this. Next few weeks, we are have starting a three-week ser series today on when to choose grace, um, second chances with our students, which can be very difficult and so hard and all the things, but um, we're going to talk about it today and how to navigate that. And I'm excited. And today is, uh, what are they calling it? Tuesday? Because it's two, 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 like all the twos today. So um, we're talking about second chances on this day of twos. Um, I'm here with Katie. Uh, Katie, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. So my name is Katie. I am fair new here so I think I've been here about a month and a half so we came from Chicago me and my fiance um, yeah and I'm the student coordinator at the McKinney campus yes that's awesome she's already been such a great addition to our team we're so excited to have her here so today we're talking about second chances and more specifically um, when to choose grace uh, when is a good time to show grace give second chances and even uh, any parents watching will understand this but how do I respond gracefully uh, when I've been hurt by my teenager. And I mean, that is a very real thing. And so uh, Katie's going to start us off on some good thoughts um, to how to navigate this in your home. Yeah, so unlike you, and probably unlike most people listening, I am not a parent, uh, but most of my background is in youth. Um, I graduated with a degree in child and family services. Yeah, that's awesome. I, yeah, it's it was a good one. Yeah. I worked in foster care right before coming here, wow. and now I get to work with students from middle school all the way to high school yes. so it's been it's been awesome man that is so cool and yeah just your background and experience alone yeah. like can give us a lot of insight into this yeah. in our own lives and families who are watching today uh how to navigate this in home in their home and so um you know, even though you don't have kids, uh, we're not holding that against you yet. Um, <laughs> even though you don't have teenagers, even though you don't have mm -hmm. kids, um, I know that, um, you know, you've learned a lot and we mm -hmm. all as Christ followers, when we are showing second chances and giving second chances, one of the things that we do mm -hmm. is we look to what we know and yeah. what's been given to us. And as Christians, that's the Bible. And so we're looking to the mm -hmm. Bible today at a couple different stories um, that are going to help us, um, that we're going to pull yeah. some principles out and just help us as we navigate this in our own home. So Katie, mm -hmm. why don't you talk about the first yeah. story? So I think the first story we're just going to cover is the story of the prodigal son. Oh, good one. It is, yeah, Luke 15, if you guys want to read it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to jump in and kind yeah. of give a brief um, snapshot. Yeah, just share Perfect. a little bit. Um, so this story, it is about, there's a father, there's two sons, the younger son, he gets a little greedy. He gets kind of selfish, yeah. um, wants all of his inheritance before his dad dies. He's basically saying like, you could be dead. I don't care. Yeah. I want everything. I'm done. So, I'm done yeah. being here. I'm done yeah. being part of this. And yeah. Dad, he's like, you know what? Like you can have the inheritance. He splits the inheritance between his two sons yeah. before he's gone. Um, the son takes all of his inheritance, he kind of goes and wastes it, so yeah. um, spends all of it, and he's stuck in this kind of position then after he's spending everything that he just took from his dad, um, left his family, and now he's in this position where he is basically like the poorest of the poor. He's having to work um, for money, and he's yeah. at this low point um, where he is like, man, I need to go back to my dad. Maybe I can ask him to be a servant. Maybe I can yeah. ask him if I could just work for him, not even be his son, not even be in his home, like just working with the servants. Yeah. Um, and the cool part of the story is he goes back to his dad and it explained this really cool in the Bible, um, but it says his dad's looking out, watching for him almost, and yeah. he sees his son, and not he's not waiting for him to come to him. He yeah. is running to his son, so yeah. his son's walking up, and you picture like this big path, yeah. and his dad sees him, and he just runs to him and yeah. embraces him. That's and so it's good. not, hey, you can be my servant. You yeah. can work your debt off. He's like, welcome back. Like, take yeah. a rope, take a ring, like, come back into this family. Like, yeah. you're, you're welcome And they ended back. up having a big yes. celebration. Yeah. yeah. I love that part of the story. It says, while he was far mm -hmm. off. That's yeah. a, and I love that part of the yeah. story where it's like the the dad is literally mm -hmm. he's watching for his son. He's yeah. waiting for his son to come back. And that's mm -hmm. so cool. And yeah, what a great story. Yeah. And what a grace filled story. What mm -hmm. are some things that we can learn about second chances when we look at this story? Yeah, I think just like a, a normal thing to look at is when our children mess up, or even when we mess up, there's natural consequences. Yeah. So in the story it's describing, he spends all of his inheritance, he's spending all of his money, yeah. and he faces the consequences of that. He becomes extremely poor. He's almost like begging for 
the life that he once had and right. that he kind of let go of. Yeah. Um, so that's a huge one just yeah. to focus on that. Like there's going to be consequences yeah. when our children mess up and it's, yeah. it's not on us as parents to give them those consequences or be strict on them. It's yeah. more of like, how can we respond? Our children are going to mess up. We're going to mess yeah. up. But how are we responding with grace? That's so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How are we responding yeah. with grace? And I mean, we all will have to have mm-hmm. some sort of consequences in our home. Yeah. And we've all, and mm-hmm. I'm sure parents are navigating that on their own. But I do love yeah. the story because the dad wasn't like, I told you, mm-hmm. ha, 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 look at what happened. No, the natural consequences happened. And because of that, the son knew that coming home was the safest mm-hmm. place he could be. Exactly. And even if he was just a servant, in his father's home, in his family's home, Mm -hmm. like he knew that that was better than where he was in the moment. And so, yeah, the natural consequences Mm -hmm. was such a big part of the story. Like, look at where he was, look at where he ended up, you know? That's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. So I think also just focusing on like, we can't control our students as much as we want to and control everything they do and have like this vision of what our kids are going to do and what we want to see in them. We can't control that, but we can control how we respond. Yeah. And that's super Super important to remember. Yeah, that's so good. Mm -hmm. And then another kind of cool part of the story is, like, he just never gave up on his son. Exactly. Right? Yeah, and we kind of covered it a little bit, but um, the verse is, like, but while he was still a long way off. And you said that, but it's just super super important just to remember that, like, the dad wasn't just like sitting in his chair with like a cup of coffee or yeah. whatever he's doing yeah. and waiting for him. He's, yeah. he's sitting and he's watching. So he didn't give up yeah. on him. Um, and he, the son was a long way off. He, yeah. was, he was forever away. He was doing everything from, I think, prostitution to spending yeah. his money on gambling, gambling like anything yeah. he could do to sin against his father, he was doing. Yeah. But the dad didn't lose hope and he yeah. was waiting for him, which yeah. is cool. Man, I love that. Mm-hmm. It's so good because when we look at this story, we almost picture like God yeah. and us and we can answer the questions mm-hmm. in our own life like who, you know, who is God when we sin against yeah. him? And how will we mm-hmm. hope and pray that he responds to us when we are Mm-hmm. turning against him and doing things exactly. that we don't want to do and that we shouldn't be doing and we know that we shouldn't be doing. Um, man, but we know yeah. that we have a loving father who's willing mm-hmm. to extend grace and to extend that forgiveness. And we've seen it modeled again and again. This is mm-hmm. one story of many that we could have told yeah. um, on showing grace. Um, and so, um, okay, so there's another yeah. story that yeah. you're going to share with us really quick. And yes. yeah. so this was a quick one too. So a parable of the unmerciful servant. So this one cut really short. Yeah. Um, it is, there's a king and he has a servant. He owes him like 10,000 something. Right. Gold yeah. coins Gold or whatever coins, it is. Yeah. Whatever it is. <laughs> um, so he owes him a ton yeah. and the servant goes in and the king is sitting there and he's like, you know what? I'm going to sell you. I'm going to sell your family. I'm going to sell all your possessions. Yeah. Like, so you can pay me back. And uh, the servant, he gets on his knees and he's begging him like, Hey, just show me mercy. Like, yeah. And the king's like, Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Yeah. So, awesome. Like, story you think it would be like, all right, we're done. It ends here. No. So this servant, he goes out, and he has a servant of his own that owes him 100 silver coins. So a lot smaller than the 10. What he owed the king. Yes. Yeah. So, again... How I picture the story, it's like, oh, he gives him grace because that's yeah. what he's shown. No, he like basically choke holds the servant. Right. And he's like, no, like you give me owe what me I'm this. owed. Yeah. Yes, and he gets him sent to prison. Yeah. Um, King finds out about this, takes him back, and basically gives him that punishment again yeah. because he didn't give the grace that was extended to him. Yeah. So it's. Kind yeah. of bites him in the butt in the end, really. Absolutely, mm-hmm. yeah, it does. Yeah, and uh, I love at the end uh, here uh, at the very end mm-hmm. when um, Jesus is telling the story to Peter yeah. and he asks him mm-hmm. like, "How many times then should I forgive someone yeah. who's done me wrong?" And Jesus' mm-hmm. answer is so cool. He says. Yeah. Like 70 times seven. Right. So if you <laughs> want to multiply that, that's a lot. That's a uh, lot. 490. <laughs> yeah, it's a like, lot. <laughs> but I mean, I think that Jesus was actually implying like, hey, mm-hmm. our forgiveness exactly. should be limitless. Yeah. You know, when we are talking about forgiveness. Mm-hmm. And um, I think that's part of what this yeah. story is is showing us. And yeah. um, so are there a couple other points like yeah. to the story uh, to share, you know, yeah. I think a big one is just, um, and it's kind of cliche, I feel like we teach this to our children when they're super young, yeah. uh, but treat others how you want to be treated. So, so good. Yeah. yeah. So in this, if he would have just handed the grace that he had been given to the servant that was his, whole story would have been changed. But because yeah. it wasn't, it's kind of like your cards got dealt back to yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. 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 And I think that sometimes, you know, um, 
our, our kids are going to mm. fall short of our expectations, but we're probably going to fall short mm -hmm. of their expectations as well. And so it's kind of like a give and take, you yeah. know, the whole biblical principle, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you, mm. um, all of that. And so it's, um, mm. man, what a great thing for us to remember when we're thinking about second chances and, mm. and extending grace yeah. to our kids. And um, you can find that story in Matthew 18. Yeah. That's a great one to go and read too. All right, Katie, yeah. we're about to wrap up mm -hmm. here. Any final thoughts? Yeah, I think just to cover kind of everything yeah. we just talked about really right. quickly, but um, just when we're giving grace, I think it's super important to remember that we are all sinful people. Yeah, um, It's not just our children, it's not just us, but it's all of us. If we're expecting God to give us grace, if we're expecting him to forgive us on our mistakes when we're falling short, Yeah, how how should we expect our children to do the same? Absolutely. Um, so I so think, good. yeah, so we mentioned that. Yeah. Um, also just the 70 times seven, I wanna yeah. like make that super clear. Right. Um, it's not just like a cap, we don't cap it off. Right. I think Peter was saying in the Bible, it's like seven times, like that's enough, right? Right. Um, no, God's like, Jesus is like, hey, like, it's endless. Like, yeah, basically it's endless. Yeah. Don't take a notebook and like make a tally <laughs> like every tally time up. like you're forgiving your kids and like exactly. at 490 be like, okay, we're done, mm -hmm. right? You can't yeah. do that, right? Yeah. Or you so, shouldn't do that. You can, yeah, but yeah. probably not a great parenting uh, principle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think just the whole story, all yeah. of these, and there's a ton more stories in the Bible yeah. that talk about grace and forgiveness and all that, but just, um, yeah. It's kind of yeah. how Jesus And so responds. that's so great. So, um, you know, this week we're talking a lot about mm -hmm. offering grace, why we should offer grace. Um, and uh, especially when our, our, our student, you know, mm -hmm. is maybe doing things that we don't love. And uh, like, how do we discipline? Like, what are yeah. steps to discipline? And those are that's something we're going to talk about next mm -hmm. week and week two of our Second Chances yeah. series uh, here on the Teenager Tuesday. So we're excited about that. Katie, mm -hmm. thank you for joining yeah, us today. Uh, parents, we will see you next week. Mm -hmm. We're so excited. And don't forget, you can do this. You are not alone. God is with you. And so are we. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.